Hi gang, Rob here. It is the evening of 5 November 2020. Yeah, 2020 is getting short and it's a good thing. <laughs> it is time for a knife sale on the Apostle P channel because it's 9 o'clock on Thursday night. And we've got a big one and it is many and varied. A very eclectic mix of goodies for the knife nut and watch nut in your life. <clears throat> what do we have now? About seven shopping weeks, uh, six shopping weeks to Christmas. Mm -hmm. This could be a good place to do some of that shopping. Before we get into the 35 items we have for sale tonight, a little bit of housekeeping. If you are new to this weekly event, I'm going to need you to be familiar and agreeable to the terms of the sale. I'll post them on the screen for you in just a moment. They'll also be reprinted in the description underneath this video. Also in the description, you're going to find three links to prior videos. Number one is a link to my Primer for Buyers video. That's a 38-minute expanded explanation of the terms of the sale if you're a new buyer. You want to watch that. The second link is to my video FAQs for consigners. If you're interested in moving some of your collection along using this weekly event, that video explains how it works. And the third link is, as always, to my rates and services video for the Apostle P Knife Service, the original precision sharpening service for the online knife community. And backlog is fairly low right now, just about two weeks, maybe three. <clears throat> if you need to get some knives sharpened, get a hold of me. That video explains how. So below those three links and below the terms of the sale in your description, you'll find the list of inventory complete with timestamps and pricing. Number to the left of the slash is your as shown price. Number to the right, your as sharpened price. There will be no sharpening available on watches. <clears throat> but if you buy a knife and you'd like to have it sharpened, if you're one of the first six to do so tonight, that knife will be done next day. It'll ship out tomorrow, Friday the 6th, with all the as shown inventory. If you're outside the first six and you want your knife sharpened, it'll just be a couple weeks. If you see the word sold in lieu of pricing for a given knife in your description, that means it has a new owner. It is bought, paid for, on its way. No need to send an email about that. <clears throat> um, let's see. I think that's about it for housekeeping. We'll get you the terms up on the screen. We'll be right back with the sale inventory. Here are the terms. All right, let's get to it, shall we? First, we've got four leftovers from last week. Um, one of them's going to run a little later in the sale because these first three are from the same gentleman who has the first few fresh items tonight. So I'm going to kind of keep them grouped with their sellers. First up, I'm kind of surprised this one didn't sell last week for the price. This is the Buck 529 Shark Skin. So it is a small US made lockback knife, brass frame, shark skin inlays, stainless steel blade. And from the vintage of this knife, I don't know which steel. It could be 425M, it could be 420HC, probably from the late 80s. Little two and thirteen sixteenths inch lockback in its closed length. The shark skin inlays are beautiful. The brass frame just has a little bit of oxidation, but it's pretty much a near mint knife. Don't think it's ever been sharpened. 
beautiful polish. There is a little bit of up and down, a little bit of side to side play, very slight. And the centering is uh, pretty good for an old buck. These aren't super expensive knives, but they're uh, a great little desk mate for the postmodern gentleman. Uh, we ran this last week for 35 bucks. It didn't sell. I dropped it to 30 on Saturday. It's still here. This week, somebody gets the old buck. What a great stocking stuffer. 25 bucks shipped. Priority mail. $40 if you'd like it with an Apostle P. Edge. That's the buck 529 shark skin. Next up, man, I can't believe this one didn't sell. This is one of the most iconic discontinued American-made Kershaw knives I think that exist. This is the Kershaw 1720 Junkyard Dog, a stainless steel frame lock knife with an airplane motif. Those rivet holes and lines are milled into the stainless and you've got some printing. Very cool. Got that JYD clip. I think that was specific to this knife. Was this an onion design? Anyway, it's a flipper on washers with no speed safe, and you saw how it flipped. Oh, it's a galleon design. Made June of 2007. Blade steel is Sandvik 13C26, that beautiful shimmery old Kershaw bead blast. <clears throat> Blade length is two and fifteen sixteenths, so the handle is a little over four inches, I think. Beautiful in hand, great working knife. There's your lock engagement on the stainless steel frame lock. Rock solid. Centering down the middle. Condition is near meant to like new, guys. Very highly collectible knife. Um, when I looked at eBay completed listings for this model, I found them between, get this, 170 and 275 Now this one doesn't have a box, so I priced it last week at 150 It didn't sell. I dropped it on Saturday to 130 It's still here. Somebody gets it for 120 bucks, and then 140 with an Apostle P. Edge. That is the Kershaw 1720 Junkyard Dog. Next up, that little knife company that's known for doing things sort of weird, quirky, and innovative. Columbia River Knife and Tool, CRKT, brings us this one. This is the 7353 Starlight. The handle scales are beautifully blasted with some nice milling aluminum scales, not titanium, although they sure look like it. The lock system is the Allen Elishowitz designed E-lock. So you've got this rocker switch. It is a flipper, but it doesn't flip super good. It's on Teflon washers. So the rocker locks it, and then you depress the rocker, and it closes. You can also open it via thumb studs, which works a little better. you got kind of a muskrat clip blade going on. Blade steel is OS 8. The blade is three and a quarter inches long. This is a Taiwan made CRKT, not a Chinese knife. <clears throat> blasted blade, blasted handle. Lockup is really solid. Centering is beautiful. Condition is going to be near mint, no box. Let's see. I only found one retailer that has this knife in stock. It was Oso Grande. Uh, they and it may be in stock. They got had them for seventy dollars. Uh, completed listings on eBay because they're so hard to find ran between seventy and ninety actual transactions. We ran this last week for sixty dollars. It didn't sell. I dropped it to forty eight. It's still here. This week forty bucks, guys. Forty dollars, like it is sixty if you'd like it with an Apostle P edge, and it's near mint, no box. That is the CRKT 7353 Starlight. Next up, the first of our fresh inventory. 
This one from custom knife maker Alan Foltz. This is the Foltz Goblin Custom with black and gray G10 scales, 3D machine, nicely melted. And that is a machining word, melted, not like melting it with heat. <clears throat> right hand tip up pocket clip. The blade is kind of a gently curved worn cliff, satin flats, acid stone washed bevel and swedge. It is a liner lock knife and look at the rock pattern milling on the lock bar and the blade tang. I will caution you guys, this is not an easy lock to release. You kind of got to get in there and do it. Uh, centering is pretty doggone good on this knife. Action is uh, eh, old. <laughs> not Definitely not an action that is commensurate with this modern age of... Uh, pocket knives as fidget flippers, right? <clears throat> and I believe yeah, the liner lock, both liners are actually titanium on this knife. Blade length is three and seven eighths. Blade steel we believe to be 154 cm. Seems to be what Allen works in more than anything else. We're calling this one near mint, no box was about $400 new from the maker. This one can be yours for $180, $180, and $200 if you'd like it with an Apostle Piedge. That is the Allen Foltz Custom Goblin. Next up, the first of our sweet old fixed blade inventory tonight. It's going to come in this fold-over style leather sheath with belt loop and the knife inside is this thing a beauty this is the Bruce Gillespie custom drop point hunter this knife is a chunk guys <clears throat> three and three quarters inch blade D2 tool steel three sixteenths thick all the way back Gorgeous, beautifully matched stag handle, red liners between scale and blade tang, and also between scale and guard, brass guard, obviously. Beautifully hafted. It's kind of thick behind the edge of, but I do want you to look at that very nice polished maker's edge. Got just a little bit of edge wear right from belly to tip, but very little. Handles four and three quarters. Let's see. We're going to call this near mint, no box. Your price on this one? 180, 180 on the Bruce Gillespie Drop Point Hunter. 200 if you'd like it with an Apostle P edge, but I'd probably use it with that maker's edge for a while. Next day sharpening available if you do elect to do that. <clears throat> Next up, oh, this is gorgeous, gorgeous. From a maker down in Texas, J.B. Moore, you get that nice wet formed leather sheath with fold over belt loop. And inside, I need to do a little blade wipe because it's so pretty. This is the J.B. Moore Custom Scanner. Look at that. Beautiful hollow ground, three and five eighths inch blade. I have no idea the blade steel. Beautiful handle, and I don't know the wood, but it is a gorgeous burl with some burgundy liners. Blade stock looks to be three sixteenths. Gorgeous tapered tank. As this thing is beautifully made, and I mean beautifully made. Blade length is three and five eighths. Handle is four and five eighths. I'm going to call this near mint, no box with sheath. Price on this knife new is three hundred forty dollars. It can be yours 
for 175, 175, and then 195 with an Apostle P edge. Next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six tonight. Next up, here's a knife from a company I've never heard of before, and there's no way I'm going to say this right. Bawidaman Blades, B-A-W-I-D-A-M-A-N-N. -N. And this model is the Sculled, S-K-U-L-D. So, yeah. Comes in a fold-over Kydex sheath. Nice retention. Here is the knife. S35 VN blade, kind of a bellied tanto. Very interesting milled file work. Crown spine, cut swedge, combo edge. There is your maker's mark. S35 VN blade steel on that 3 and 7 eighths inch blade. The 4 and 9 sixteenths inch handle is sort of a modified Anso pattern. G10. That crown spine stays proud all the way around the tang of the knife as well. Very, very nice in hand. Let's check the sheath fit. No rattle. Pretty tidy little package. Uh, this knife would have been a little over $400 brand new. And it is near mint to like new with sheath, no box. Your price on this one, guys, is going to be $275, $275. And the maker's edge on this is so good. I mean, it is so good. Not particularly polished, but it is extremely sharp. I'm not even going to offer an edge sharpen price on this. So $275 on the Bawidaman Blades Scald. Next up... I cannot believe this knife is still here. I know it's a Browse, and I know you guys don't love them, but this is a, this is a Bionic XL, which is a dealer exclusive to knives, ship free, number 954 of 1,000. You got the gorgeous kind of gunmetal blue, hard anodized aluminum scales. D2 blade, I think it's about three and a half inches. Hollow ground and stone washed. And this is wearing an Apostle P edge that is, I think, unmolested since I sharpened it. It also has my forward finger choil mod, which I think the knife should have had from the maker, but it didn't. Liner lock knife. Beautiful centering. Beautiful flipping action on the ball bearings. Absolutely rock solid lock up. Tip-up clip is reversible left to right with the fill tab. <clears throat> I think you can still buy this knife at Knife Ship Free. I'm not sure if they have this coloration, but $220 bucks cost you to buy a new one. And we ran it last week for... What did we run it for? Get it on the back side here. We ran it for $125. It didn't sell. I dropped it to $110 on Saturday. It didn't sell. $100 bucks this week, guys. $100. No need to sharpen, and just think, you don't think of it as a browse that's probably made in China. Think of it as a Derek Bone dealer exclusive with an Apostle P mod. How about that? 100 bucks. No need to sharpen. That's the Brass Bionic XL. Next up, <clears throat> oh, my personal favorite knife in the sale right here. Wow. This has three great names attached to it. Three. It was offered by A.G. Russell. There is great name number one. It was designed by Robert Waldorf Loveless, the great Bob Loveless. And it was made by Moki in Seki City, Japan. And this is the A.G. Russell Loveless Gents Lockback. We have beautiful... Stainless steel bolsters and end cap and liners. We have a beautiful bale. And if you look in the relief for the bale, I think it's bead blasted. So cool. Beautifully pinned bale. And then it's got that gorgeous Moki hafting. 
look at the way the lock bar meets liners meet bolsters and then when we open it just look look at the H man they do a great job and guys it's it's got a little <clears throat> Just a tiny bit of stick, which I kind of like, and look how free the blade is. But when it's open, zero blade play. Centering, bingo. Condition, near mint to like new, closer to like new. No box with it. Um, and let me tell you a little more about this one. Uh, it was $225 new, and in this gorgeous mother of pearl cover they only made 125 pieces they are out of stock you can buy this one for 175 bucks 175 like it is by the way i didn't tell you three and a half inch closed length blade steel is vg10 look at that little modified sheep's foot mm. I just want you to listen to that click open. Yeah. That is a well made. Russell Loveless Moki. So 175 like it is 195 sharpened. Next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six. Beautiful knife. Next up, this is cool. <clears throat> this is cool, guys. The Citadel Knives Shanta, C-H-A-N-T-H-A. This is just one of those cool little companies, guys, in the third world. This is a Cambodian-made knife. And I, I have no idea the story behind Citadel Knives, but I got a feeling some missionary knife makers did a little training i just got a feeling i don't know for sure uh, so what is the shanta well it is a polished natural canvas micarta scaled liner lock folder cool integrated lanyard hole in the backspacer beautiful polish thumb stud on washers and look at this blade Bowler N690CO that was purchased in, I don't know what you, I don't think it's hot rolled, but anyway, in the scaled finish, right? And then the guys at Citadel have done a high polished Sabre convex in a, in a high polished swedge. I'm telling you what. They rock. They rock that edge. Uh, just a stainless steel liner lock. Nice beefy handle. Super comfortable in hand. Blade length 2 and 15 sixteenths. 4 inch handle. Rock solid lock up. Beautiful centering. There's, I, I'll guarantee you guys there's a lot of hand work in this knife. Um, I could not find this cover material or scale material in stock, uh, but Knife Center has some with bone covers for $179. This one you can buy, and it's near mint to like new, no box, $130, $130 $130 for the Citadel Shanta. Uh, we're not putting my edge on this. You need to experience that factory edge or maker's edge. <clears throat> Next up. Okay, got to pay attention here. We have two identical knives running. You're going to come in a brand new ZT pouch, but no box. This is the Zero Tolerance ZT0460, number 3812, number 3812. So this is that Persian bladed Sinkovich design knife. Blade steel is S35VN, 3 and a 16th inches in length. The handle is four and seven sixteenths. Stonewashed titanium frame lock steel insert. There's your lock engagement. Rock solid. Blades run on ball bearings. Got to get it over the detent. There we go. 
Flipping action's perfect. Centering's beautiful. Um, this one looks like it's been used and touched up lightly, very lightly. But other than that, pretty much a new knife. So we're going to call this one Near Mint in Pouch, Touch Up Noted. Map pricing on this knife, you want to buy a brand new one from your favorite web retailer, is going to be 160, 160, with that brown carbon fiber scale. Uh, this one can be yours for 140. I'm sorry, 120, like it is, 140 with an Apostle P edge. That's the ZT0460 number 3812. <clears throat> Why that number? Because that's the serial number on the blade. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, all right. Next up, the second identical knife. This also is going to come in a ZT pouch. No box for this one. It's the ZT0460, number 7162. Stonewashed titanium frame, 4 and 7 16 inches closed. Ball bearing flipper, Persian blade, S35VN. There's your serial number. There is your lock engagement. It's rock solid. There's your centering. It's beautiful. Now this one is like new in pouch. You, you will need to keep your fingers off that lock bar when you're flipping it open, okay? Because it will lock up on you. But this one's like new in pouch. ZT0460 number 7162. Matte pricing on these brand new is 160. This can be yours for 125. 145 with an Apostle P edge. Next up, the first of our rather large run of Chinese knives this week from Kaiser. And this is that uh, cool box. Let's see, you know, it's got the outer box. It's very grabby. The inner box, the clamshell, the paperwork in the little folder, all that good stuff. A little pouch in there. Yep. Inside comes this knife, the KI4508 Critical, designed by Matthew Christensen. Pretty neat little knife, big knife actually. <clears throat> Five inches of titanium handle, blue titanium accents, backspacer and pocket clip fully milled, and that's probably aluminum up there on the pivot collars. It is a titanium frame lock, steel insert, ball bearing flipper, big old beast of a blade, S35VN3, and 5 eighths inches in length. Beautiful machining as always with the Kaisers. There's your lock engagement, rock solid, blade centering. Very close to perfect, if not perfect. Near mint in box, you might find some tiny carry nicks on some of the corners, but that's going to be about it. Factory edge seems unmolested. <clears throat> Web pricing on these, if you want a brand new one, is going to run you 170. I'm sorry, that's wrong. 203, 203. For a brand new one, or just buy this one, 145, 145 like it is, 165 with an Apostle P edge. Next day sharpening available if you're one of the first six tonight. That's the Kaiser KI4508 Critical. Next up, my favorite Kaiser ever. <clears throat> and it comes in the luxurious box with almost a suede like finish. Inner clamshell box paperwork pouch and a pouch in there uh -huh. and this knife is the KI 3471C1 the Gemini designed by Ray Laconico and this carbon fiber version this uh, this rivals the Benchmade bug out for 
size and weight efficiency. Carbon fiber scales on both sides. Liner lock. Ball bearing flipper. Blade steel beautifully stonewashed S35 VN. Three and an eighth inches of, I will say, spear point blade. Full flat ground. Handle length on the Gemini is four and a sixteenth. Mechanics are perfect, rock solid lockout, beautiful centering, stupendous flipping action. Condition on this one with the fully milled titanium pocket clip <clears throat> is near mint in the box. You might see some little rubs in that titanium, but they're very slight. Don't know if the camera will even pick them up. A beautiful example. Web pricing on this knife, you want to buy a brand new one from your favorite online retailer, will be $170 or just buy this one. Shipped priority mail, $130, $130. dollars $150 if you'd like it with an Apostle P Edge. Next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six knives purchased to be sharpened tonight. That's the Kaiser Gemini Carbon Fiber. Next up, from... We knife. We have the banter with black G10 handle and black stainless steel liner and black stone washed S35 VN blade. Pretty cool little knife. Uh huh. There is your black G10. There is your Wii pivot. Deep carry right hand tip up clip. Blade is going to be S35VN. Nice DLC coating. Mildly stonewashed. Blue thumb studs. There's your liner lock engagement. It is solid as a rock. The centering is we perfect. Ball bearing pivot with thumb studs. Pretty cool little knife. Two and seven eighths blade, three and five eighths handle, super size efficient. Notice how close to the end that pivot is mounted. That's what how you get that. Nice little package. <clears throat> Condition is near mint to like new in box. Uh, if you want to buy a new one of these from your favorite web retailer, it'll run you $108. Or just buy this one. Shipped priority mail near mint to like new in box 75 bucks 95 with an apostle p edge that is the Wii banter next up from the budget brand of Wii knives Civivi Civivi we have what do we have well, there it is we have the Civivi mini bull mastiff with blue G10 handle Gray stainless steel liner and 9CR18 MOV Chinese stainless steel. Here's the knife. Uh huh. Interesting. <clears throat> the Wee Banter had a right hand only deep carry clip. The cheaper knife, the Civivi, has a reversible deep carry tip up clip. It is a flipper, a cleaver style blade. <laughs> Three and a sixteenth inches in length. The handle is four and three sixteenths. There's your liner lock engagement. It is rock solid on the lock up. The centering is beautiful. The flipping action really nice. When you get that big, thick, heavy blade, you're going to get great flipping action. Uh -huh. Condition is near mint to like new in box. You can buy a new one of these for fifty bucks at your favorite web retailer, but at that price, you'll probably have to pay shipping. Or just buy this one. Shipped priority mail. All in. 40 bucks. 60 if you like it with an Apostle P Edge. That is the Civivi Mini Bull Mastiff. <clears throat> Next up, our second CRKT knife in tonight's sale. This is the Columbia River Knife and Tool number 5480. Carnifex, Carnifex. <clears throat> Designed by Ecoma Design, Ecoma Design of IKBS fame. We have a stainless steel frame lock knife with stonewashed 
handle scales. Some nicely texture molded FRN scales. Deep carry right hand only pocket clip. We do have a ball bearing flipper. Not IKBS, I'm sure. How's that for a gorgeous little recurve spear point? 8CR13 MOV blade, 3 and 7 eighths inches in length, and then a 5 and 1 16th handle. There is your lock engagement on the stainless frame lock, rock solid, centering right down the middle. Flipping action, really nice. How about that? Condition is like new in the box. These are discontinued and out of stock. I did find some on eBay, completed listing, sold knives between $30 and $40 plus shipping. This one can be yours for $30. Bucks. Like new in the box, $50 with an Apostle P edge. Next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. That is the CRKT 5480 Carnifex. Next up, this is kind of a cool knife. Comes in the old style Kaiser box. Very unassuming, wouldn't you say? This is the Kaiser KI 401 DT. And I'm not sure how to say this. C A L I G N E Kaligne. Anyway, it's a really cool knife. And not an inexpensive Kaiser, by the way. <clears throat> We have a four and three quarters inch handle with beautifully milled titanium. And I'm not sure the camera will pick this up, but they used a very tiny mill. It almost has like lion steel mill lines in those recesses. Got your Kaiser pivot, the swirly pivot. Probably a titanium spring clip. And then it is a ball bearing flipper. Oh, very... And I wrote a note, sweet action. I mean, sweet. It's very buttery, almost. I mean, it's hard to explain, but the uh, it's got to be uh, got to be ceramic bearings because it's not gritty. You don't feel the you know the the outer roundness of bearings. It's just very sweet. One of the smoothest ball bearing pivots I've ever felt, and can look in there if I can get the light to hit it look at that large ceramic detent ball that probably has something to do with it too um, no steel insert in this one so they must have carburized that lock face and it's I'm telling you what they killed it on this knife absolutely killed it uh, blade length is 3 and 9 sixteenths blade steel is S35 VN beautiful stone wash Recurve Tato, very, very aesthetically pleasing knife. Gorgeous. Um, these are out of stock everywhere, and the last pricing I could find, they ran between 192 and 200. This one can be yours, like new, in the box for 160, 160, 185 with an Apostle P edge. That is the Kaiser KI 401 DT Caligna. Next up, the last of our Chinese contingent tonight. This comes to us from, oh, gotta be careful, from We Knife Company Limited. <clears throat> it comes in an inner box. Yeah. This is one of those special We knives, guys, and it's very special. It is the 719A Escaton. Uh-oh, I'm knocking stuff over, over here. <clears throat> Comes with a certificate of authenticity because it's a limited knife, number 371 of 500. Overall length open is 8.8 .8 inches. Blade length is 3.85, if you can read that. Handle length 4.95 inches. Blade steel is, is Buller M390. 6AL 4V titanium. Ceramic ball bearing washers. 
titanium screws pivot cap titanium want to see it oh look at that so I'm calling this a semi integral because the back half of the knife is uh, acid stone washed bronze anodized titanium notice the name of the knife in that back portion and that's all one piece the front of the knife are two scales in blue titanium very low profile flipper and check out this blade oh my now guys this is not an EDC knife this is an exhibition of machining right it's just a, a small liner lock which locks up rock solid um, in the hand it's interesting blade centering should be perfect and it kind of is flipping action amazing look at that condition on the escaton is like new in the box uh, they are out of stock for their original offering price of web retail at 349 I looked on eBay at completed listings get this these are sold knives guys in green in the completed listing section on eBay price range 475 to 699 we're gonna put this right at the bottom of the range your price 475 like it is uh, 505 if you want me to sharpen it but don't this is a knife that you need to tuck away get it out and look at it every now and then so 475 like it is 505 sharpened on the Wii Escaton. Next up, let me get my mind right after all them Chinese knives. From Kershaw, proudly made in the USA, we have a Launch One. We ran a Launch One last week in the uh, black wash finish. This one, purple hard anodized aluminum handle black now I think this is a slightly black wash DLC and my consigner's got a little coating of oil on her CPM 154 blade 3 and 7 16 inches in length handle is 4 and 13 16 inches lockup is rock solid it's a button lock auto centering is beautiful action perfect it didn't I never got a fail to lock since I've been handling this knife condition is going to be like new in the box this particular launch one is out of stock but last pricing I found was between 95 and 105 your price 85 bucks 85 and then 105 with an Apostle P edge next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six tonight that's the launch one purple <clears throat> Next up, it's another Kershaw, and it's also proudly made in the USA. And this knife is going to be a Launch 5 in burnt orange. This is the Emerson design launch. That orange hard anodized aluminum handle is 5 and an eighth inches long reversible old Kershaw butter knife clip love it button lock auto gorgeous Emerson clip point black wash finish CPM 154 three and three eighths inches in length talk about a knife that's awesome in hand awesome in hand you got it condition on this one's like new in the box perfect lockup perfect centering snappy action uh, this knife is out of stock everywhere web pricing ranges between 100 and 110 this one can be yours for 85 bucks 105 if you'd like it with an apostle p edge that is the kershaw launch 5 orange time to turn the page next up it's another kershaw it's proudly made in the USA. 
The knife is a Kershaw Launch 6. In blue, hard anodized aluminum. Reversible tip up pocket clip. Handle length 4 and 15 sixteenths. The blade is a whopper. Three and three quarters inches of DLC coated CPM 154. Lock up, very solid. Centering is hard to see, but I called it off just a little, and it is off just a little to the right. There, I think you can see it. <clears throat> Action, thwack. Condition like new in the box. This knife still in stock uh, for 120 bucks at your favorite web retailer, or just buy this one, 85. 85 like it is, 105 with an Apostle P edge. That's the Kershaw Launch 6. Oh, by the way, next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. Next up, we are going bold with a ZT. 0450 all titanium the Dmitri Sienkiewicz designed small knife the three inch bladed version stonewash titanium frame wearing a custom deep carry titanium pocket clip S35 VN blade stonewash flats grinder satin bevels and swedge Steel inserted titanium frame lock. There's your engagement. It's rock solid. Centering is down the middle. Flipping action. Just like you'd expect. Let's see. So we'll call this near mint in box. Map pricing, if you want to buy a new one's 188, then you're gonna to have to add for that custom titanium clip. Your price on this one? Not 188. How about 120 bucks, guys? 120, like it is. 140 with an Apostle P edge. That's the ZT0450. That'll be important. That designation in the inventory because the next one is a ZT0450CF. So same knife, only wearing a carbon fiber scale on the show side, DLC titanium frame, also wearing a deep carry custom titanium pocket clip, S35 VN blade, DLC coated, uh huh. There's your lock engagement. It's rock solid. There is your blade centering. It's right down the middle. Flipping action. Perfect condition. I'm going to call it near mint in box just because of the clip swap. I really couldn't find an issue on the knife. So if you want to buy one of these brand new, it's going to run you 196 plus the cost of that clip, whatever that was. Or just buy this one for a buck and a quarter. 125 and then 145 with an Apostle P edge. Next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. Next up, we got us a real beast from Zero Tolerance. This one will be the big brother, the ZT0452CF Sinkovich with that gorgeous carbon fiber show side scale. Titanium frame, stone wash. This also wearing a custom deep carry titanium clip. And you're going to want to keep your fingers off the lock bar when you flick this one open because it's got a little death lock going on, as a lot of ZTs do. But anyway, the blade is like four and a sixteenth inches of S35VN. There is your lock engagement. It is rock solid. The blade centering on this one is down the middle. Flipping action. Thwack. Condition is 
near mint in box and again I couldn't really find an issue on the knife no edge wear just because of this clip swap you get that nice titanium clip let's see buy one of these brand new it'll cost you 240 bucks at your favorite web retailer plus the cost of that clip this one can be yours however for 180 180 and 200 with an apostle p edge that's the zt0452 cf next up we have a little beast on our hands right here boys this is the Senkovich design ZT0456 with the 20 CV blade and this is that short stubby beast right <clears throat> beautifully milled titanium handle we're in a custom titanium deep carry clip blue I think this is these are aluminum or this is an aluminum anodized pivot collar then you got that anodized backspacer which also looks like aluminum I think gorgeous flipper tab perfectly functional there is that stubby beefy blade in 20 CV blade length is three and three sixteenths handle is four and a half of course it's a steel inserted titanium frame lock there is your engagement it is rock solid Blade centering is on the money. Flipping action's awesome. Near mint in box with the custom clip. The 456 brand new will run you 260 at your favorite web retailer or just buy this one. For 175 shipped priority mail, absolutely. 200 if you'd like it with an Apostle P Edge. That is the ZT0456. Next up, I think it's our last ZT of the evening. And it is a real beast. It is a real beast. The ZT0462. And I think this is the first time I've noticed this. You guys, you ZT fans probably know. But the little brother... The 460 has brown carbon fiber. The big end, the 462, has red carbon fiber. Uh -huh. Out of that handle flies a gorgeous big Persian blade. CPM 20 CV. How about that? 3 and 11 sixteenths inches of blade. 5 and 5 sixteenths inches of handle. beautiful knife this one's got a little death lock too you got to keep your fingers off the lock bar when flipping there's your lock engagement rock solid and there's your perfect blade center so let's see if you want to buy a new one of these at your favorite web retailer it'll run you 260 or buy this one ready to go near mint in box with that factory clip in this case your price 165 guys 165 and then 190 with an apostle p edge that's the zt0462 next up from shabatico we have a shaman made in golden colorado usa earth it is your standard shaman with the 3d machine nicely radius g10 handle kind of a blasted finish the stone washed or acid stone washed clip beautiful stone washed blade cpm s30 v uh-huh sal glasser's maker's mark rock solid lockup nice free drop in action perfect blade centering the knife like new in the box <clears throat> your price on these if you want to buy a brand new one's going to run you 202 202 at your favorite web retailer or just buy this one a buck and a half 150 like it is 170 with an apostle p edge that's the spider co shaman <clears throat> next up 
another Spidey in a diminutive box. This box houses the Chaparral and the Raffir Noble handle. I love these. I love them. I love them. I gotta wipe off the handle because it's so beautiful. Oh my. Oh my. I love these. It's like an acrylic composite with different kinds of metal running through it in different stages of oxidation. I think there's copper, brass, and aluminum in there if I'm right. And if you notice, guys, there's a, a relief hole here where you can actually see the liner and the blade move. See? Yeah. Deep carry paper clip clip, reversible left to right, midlock, and that little skinny, what are these, like 90 thousandths, 83 thousandths blade? CTS XHP, super thinly ground. Let's see, lockup is rock solid. Action's nice and free. Centering is perfect. Condition is going to be near mint in box. I don't think these are in stock anywhere, guys. Uh, but anyway, your price on this one? 120, 120, like it is. And if you want it to really be a race car, 140 with an Apostle P Edge. Next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. That is the Spyderco Chaparral Raffir. Next up, from Guardian Tactical. Is that the son of Anthony Marfioni? I think something like that. Oh, by the way, made in the USA. It is the Helix Nano in dark stone wash, single edge. Here you go. Now this is the G10 scaled version. Beautifully done, by the way. Got your distressed DLC coated clip. Look at that. And uh, kind of the same treatment on the blade, DLC coated and then tumbled. <clears throat> Made February of 2016, CPM 154. Uh -huh. Blade length is three and a quarter. Handle length four and nine sixteenths. It is a ball bearing flipper with a titanium subframe lock with a steel insert. How's that for a mouthful? Yeah. Nice free action. Beautiful flipping action. I mean, beautiful. Centering ought to be right down the middle. Yeah. Condition is near mint to like new in box. Um, web pricing on these when they were new was 300 bucks. They are gone. Out of stock and reportedly discontinued. Your price on this one, shipped priority mail, 250 250 Then 270 with an Apostle P Edge. That is the Guardian Tactical Helix Nano. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap up the sale with five watches, all G-Shocks, and keep them straight because they're, you know, they're G-Shock model numbers. So I've got stat sheets. I have stat sheets. Uh -huh. The first G-Shock in tonight's sale comes in box with all paperwork and the tin. Everything's in there. And this one's going to be the Casio G-Shock Tough Solar GWB 5600 BC-1B. So what is it? What is it, you say? Well, it's this. And this is kind of the new style G-Shock Square. It has... Well, let's just get the stat sheet out here. <clears throat> Peruse this at your leisure. Let's see. So not only does it have sort of like backup uh, multiband six timekeeping, atomic clock radio control timekeeping. It's also a Bluetooth watch. And I think it says Bluetooth somewhere right there above my thumb. 
It does have the negative display. Better than most, I would say, on the negative display. Very visible in most lights, but it's got the new selectable illumination duration. And this one's set on four seconds. The old ones had one and a half and they were not selectable. Okay, it also has the tilt up illumination, but it's too bright in here. And this is wearing the new style link bracelet. This is different than the old combi bracelet where the H links were composite and the center links were steel. They have composite H links and then steel impregnated composite and a nice fold over clasp, double pushers with the protector. And guys, all the links are in the box. This is actually sized for my wrist, um, which is like seven, seven and an eighth. The cool thing is, all the link connectors are spring bars. How about that? Yeah. So I'm going to throw in for you now a loom shot in the dark so you can see what that illumination looks like with the lights out. There you go. So the condition on this one is <clears throat> near mint to like new in the box. Hey, there it came on without me pushing a button. If you buy one of these brand new, and the price is very widely, but it's going to be somewhere between $150 and $195, or just buy this one. Near Mint to like new, inbox, $115, $115. And that is the G-Shock GWB5600BC-1B. <clears throat> Next up, if you are a G-Shock Square fanatic, and some of you are, and you want the Mac Daddy of G-Shock Squares, we got you covered. Ready? Inbox with all paperwork and a tin and all the original links we have. A GMW-B5000GD-1CR. Yeah, <clears throat> what is that? Well, guys, this is your basic <laughs> all steel PVD coated G Shock Square negative display. And look how easily legible that is. Then you have your new selectable, whoops, illumination two seconds or four seconds. This one's set on four. It's Bluetooth controllable with the app. It has multiband six. It has all, all your normal G Shock Square functions and the all steel link bracelet with the milled clasp. All these links are removable with spring bars. Yep. All you need is one tool on either side of the hole. You depress the spring bar and you pull the links apart. It's awesome. Notice the differences in finishes. The top of that bezel is brushed. The edges of the bezel are polished and then the, the square portions are brushed. This faux link at the top is polished and all the bracelet links and clasp are brushed. The case back is also PVD coated. Has a little bit of wrist wear, but that's it. So this watch absolutely near mint. I'm going to throw in a dark loom shot for you now. Mm -hmm. Nice illumination. And let's see. I'm going to show you the spec sheet for this one. Read this at your leisure if you can make it out. Just feel free to pause that and read it. Okay. Now, I don't know how accessible these are, um, but I can tell you this, they're not cheap. Um, if you can find one online, it's going to run you like 399 bucks. This one, near mint, in box with papers, with tin, 320, 320. I'm telling you what, guys, this is so... 
it's just for me it's silly i like g-shocks but i can't imagine spending 300 bucks on a g-shock but oh. <laughs> i want to i want to so bad anyway that is the G-Shock GMW-B5000-1CR. What a piece of work. Next up, I teased you. <clears throat> I told you there would be a Mudmaster in tonight's sale. We got one in the box with papers and tin. The model number GWG-100-1A3ER Mud Master. Before I show you the watch, I'm going to show you the spec sheet. So you can see everything it does. I am by no means a G-Shock expert. Here you go. There we go. <clears throat> Look at that. Look at that. It's a round with hands. Uh -huh. It does like everything. I don't know. That carbon impregnated composite case. Big pushers. The green strap. Big watch. We'll show it on rest here. Just to give you some perspective. Yeah. It's a big one. By the way, what am I wearing? Oh yeah, I'm wearing my multiband 6 G-Shock Square. <clears throat> so let's see. Give you a price reference on this one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. If you buy a new one between uh, between 280 and 320, this one's going to be near mint in box with papers with 10. Before I tell you the price, get you a dark loom shot. And by the way, this has got the neon illumination. There it is in ambient light here it is in the dark oh my oh my so your price on this one guys not 280 to 320 how about 240 for the gwg-100-1 a3 er mudmaster 240 shipped priority mail 240 uh -huh. next up Another G-Shock in box with papers and tin. It is the GST-B200-1AER. It is another round G-Shock. There you go. Three-hander with negative LCD display. Stainless steel top over that composite case. Milled back on this one. The nice bracelet. The nice bracelet. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Not bracelet, rubber strap. Resin strap. Get it right. And there's what it looks like on the wrist. And this has got that, uh, I don't know what, you call, what kind of illumination you call it, but it's a big light down here. And I'll get you a an in the dark loom shot. There you go. There you go. And now we'll look at your spec sheet. Uh 
Yeah, let's see. Price reference. For the B200. Looks like, wow, these ain't cheap, guys. Good luck finding one if you do. I think it's going to run you about 372. Wow. And condition on this, uh, I don't know. You might find the faintest rub somewhere, but pretty much. We'll call it near mint in box. Not 372. How about 225 for this one? 225 on the G Shock GST B200 1AER. And that brings us to the last item in the sale. It is another G-Shock in box with tin and papers. And the watch is the GST-B200B-1AER, which should be the same watch essentially as the last one, except in this case, the stainless steel top has PVD coating. So it's a three-hander with the negative LCD display. Let me get for you on the screen the spec sheet. There we go. Uh -huh. Read that at your leisure. And here's the watch again. Now this has got that big LED bulb illumination. And I'll show you what that looks like in the dark. There you go. <clears throat> Got that same really nice rubber strap. Man, that's, I'll bet you that is so comfortable if you wear it all day. Very little wear on the buckle. Got your milled case back. Show it to you on wrist real quick. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so let's see, pricing reference on those. Mm -hmm. $340 web pricing on the GST-B200B-1AER, your price on this one, 200 bucks, near mint in box, with paperwork and tin. How about that? That's a buy right there, if you like them sort of large. So that, guys, will do it for this week's knife and watch sale. Hope you enjoyed it. I know I sure did. Grace to you and peace, my friends, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember... The word is sharp. Now commence to clicking.